Hello Pisces, welcome to another reading. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love and what do you need to know about the situation or the person coming towards you for Pisces. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Pisces? What can they expect? What can Pisces expect? That was really aggressive. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We have the Emperor, Aries energy, the Chariot, Cancer energy, and the Four of Wands. Movement, action, headed towards success with the Chariot. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. The Emperor um, tends to be a masculine energy that kind of takes charge, takes control. This could be somebody that's like hopping on a chariot, right? On the path to success. The Four of Wands is like leveling up. It's it's rites of passage, it's celebrations, it's moving on up, um, a happy home, a happy life, harmony in the home. So I feel like whatever's coming towards you is um, some sort of movement and action related to this um, Emperor and the Four of Wands. So I feel like there's already somebody that you know or who might be coming towards you here. And they already have kind of like a plan is what I'm getting. So let's see. What do we need to know about this Emperor? What do we need to know about this Emperor? The Page of Swords. Yeah, they want to talk to you or they're keeping tabs on you in some way, watching you from afar. Nine of Swords and Four of Swords, though. So there's anxiety. There's fear here. Why? Why is this Emperor afraid? Emperors typically are not scared of anything. But this person, um, I feel like they're feeling bad about something. Maybe they're feeling guilty or having a little difficulty with what they want to tell you. Yeah, the hangman. So they're not taking action here. Um, they might be just be thinking about things. Maybe they are understanding things because the hangman is all about looking at things from a different perspective. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here, please, spirit? Why is the cherry here? Ooh, that three, the two of wands, death, Scorpio energy, and the seven of pentacles. Interesting, because the seven of pentacles, there's a waiting period here. Patience is needed. Someone has anxiety over the result of something, of whether something will be successful. And it's with the death card, which is all about endings and change, transformation. So I feel like this, per um, why do I keep it? I keep getting this message for the signs on your person having to make a decision and like stalling. Tell me about this two of wands. Because I feel like they already know that they want to get on this chariot and be on the path to success. But the hangman and the two of wands is like waiting to make a decision here. Yeah, three of swords. Maybe they're afraid of hurting someone. Maybe they are afraid of difficulty, heartache, pain, something painful, perhaps disappointing someone. Tell me about the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here, spirit? The Ten of Cups. So this is like everything that you could possibly want. Tell me about the Four of Wands. There's that Two of Pentacles again. I feel like you and this person could have it all. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. I feel like you could have it all. Maybe if someone would just be direct and honest. King of Swords. Maybe if someone was honest with themselves or just logical about the situation. Maybe this is someone whose mind or emotions are kind of playing tricks on them or causing anxiety. Because there's definitely something this person is worried about with the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. What else do we need to know about these energies for Pisces? 
What else do we need to know? Victory lap, success, recognition, triumph. What else do we need to know for Pisces? And bountiful harvest. So there's a lot of potential here for growth, for abundance. Um, I feel like I'm kind of like wondering what's the holdup? Why, why is this not happening when it has so much potential? Tell me more for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? Lovers. Okay, so this is like a very strong partnership. And change, number nine. So there, there has to be a change. The, I mean, the death card is here with the chariot. So when I see the death card with the chariot, I think of being on a path that's completely different or that causes major changes in your life. I mean, this looks so good. There's potential here for things to like work out, for there to be a happy ending. But I feel like someone has a decision to make here with the two of wands, the two of pentacles. And they're like going back and forth about what to do. You know, thinking about what they should do next, how to do something, feeling a bit stuck with the hangman. The hangman reflects, but they don't take action. I feel like someone's worried about, will they have success? Will this work out? Or will it blow up in my face? That's kind of what I'm thinking here. What do we need to know about this person or this situation for Pisces? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person or this situation? What do we need to know about this person? what do we need to know there's death again scorpio energy and the nine of wands with the seven of cups again it's like someone's trying to decide what are my options what's the best choice i have um seven of swords at the bottom of the deck so something's a bit off here pisces let me know um in the comments if this is resonating because i feel like this is a very specific reading that the tarot like the tarot cannot go into as much detail right like for example if this is someone that has to make a very specific choice there's probably not a tarot card for it but there's definitely a decision that needs to be made here and the nine of wands is someone that's been through a lot and they're not giving up but they're not doing well either tell me about death why is death here Wow, the Ace of Pentacles, a completely new opportunity. So again, this idea of potential and the Five of Cups. Someone, uh, you know, someone I feel does not want to have any more regrets or is scared of losing something with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card about looking at what hasn't worked out and kind of letting that affect you. Tell me more about death. Tell me more about death. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Is this about a commitment? What's going on here? Some of you, I feel like this is someone that has not been able to commit to you for whatever reason. And there's regrets there, but at the same time, they're not willing to make the change necessary. We have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck of the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so it's like... There, whoever this is, Pisces, I'm speaking to a Pisces where there's a lot of potential, but there's an obstacle with a particular person, whether this is you or the person you're dealing with, one of you is not even doing a little bit. Like you're not even doing a page of pentacles, much less an ace of pentacles. So, so you know, this offer of a page of pentacles is something as small as let's go get a drink, let's go on, on a date, let's see where this goes. Now, if one of you is already in a commitment, that could definitely complicate things. That would have to end for sure. But I feel like the, the higher font is also like the no regrets energy as well, because the higher font is the person that does everything by the book. Very traditional mindset, does not like to take risks. 
Why is the Nine of Wands here? There's the Nine of Wands here. The Ten of Swords. So another card about an ending, a difficult ending as well. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles, the same energy here with an up, an ending that brings about an opportunity. An ending that has to happen to have an opportunity. They go together. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. This one. Yeah, the world. Endings and new beginnings. It's the same message. Bottom of the deck, the Page of Wands. I feel like someone just has to take that first step. They just have to take the initiative. They just have to take that little risk because the page of wands is not afraid to put themselves out there. They just want to kind of like go. Like they don't want to think about it too much. They just want to go. So I feel like that's the energy that someone needs to, I feel like there's been enough thinking, enough reflecting, enough feeling bad about things. Like now is the time to actually do something. And I feel like spirit is saying that there would be a lot of success, a lot of potential here. What's this Seven of Cups about? What's this choice about? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Strength card, Leo Energy. Spirit, why is the Seven of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles. Something here about, like, courage with strength. There's that Page of Pentacles again. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. All of the like Pentacle cards with an offer have shown up. And these are solid offers. This is not someone that's playing around. This is someone that has goals, is willing to put in the work. But I'm concerned because I feel like it's almost like, you know what I'm getting here? There's the Four of Swords, by the way, bottom of the deck. I feel like this is possibly a situation where someone will only take that first step if they do it exactly the way they want to do it. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like if it's not perfect, then I'm not going to do it at all. You know, if, it's, if success is not guaranteed, I'm not going to risk at all. Which kind of complicates things because perfection, I mean, is very, as human beings, it's very hard to reach perfection no matter what we do. What else do we need to know here? For Pisces, what else do we need to know? And then I want to clarify that world. What do we need to know for Pisces? children your love life is being affected by children so there could be um children involved but sometimes this card for me as a reader is like someone doesn't have the maturity necessary new love and honeymoon a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and honeymoon enjoy okay soulmate at the bottom of the deck okay so i feel like pisces whoever this is i don't think you've actually had a um a relationship with this person I feel like this is the potential of what you could have with this person. New love with a soulmate. Lovers showed up. Something that's very successful. Something that is um, very beautiful. Uh, it just requires some sort of a move or choice or exchange. You know, because we have all these cards about endings. Tell me about the world. What's this about? It's like if something were to change success is, is available or within reach tell me about the world yeah the two of cups so why the three of pentacles because i'm starting to think there's possibly someone else here it could be a boss ex-partner current partner family member friend i feel like there's some someone getting in the way of what could be a very beautiful connection there's the two of swords. So again, that difficult decision. So I feel like your person is being confronted with a decision to start something new with you. And there's a lot of potential. This could work. They just have to choose you. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. 
If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps me out a lot. If you'd like to donate to the channel, there's a thanks button below the title of the video. You just scroll to the right and you'll see a little thanks button. Um, thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.